Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the draft seal number DS210AT. This happens to be a 48 inch length of this door bottom, this L shaped door bottom. This is a door bottom that will be um, capable of working on. Why would you use an L shape? Well, you would use an, use an L shape when you can't use a U shaped bottom because you have an unusual door thickness. Let's say you had a two and a quarter inch thick door. Um, not going to find a U shape for that. Let's say you have an unusual thickness door, maybe something in the um, in the two inch range, or something really really super thick, three inch, three and a half inch. And sometimes an L shaped door bottom for those reasons or something similar to that is really the only time um, that you would end up using an L shape. And then sometimes what we do in those unusual door thickness circumstances, we actually put two L shape together. Um, both sides wouldn't have a drip cap. Uh, and that brings me to the next feature of this door bottom. It has an integrated drip cap. That projection of this feature of this door bottom called a drip cap is substantially effective at running water away from your line of defense which is here or starts here okay that 9 16 or so projection is absolutely proven effective when it comes to just helping drive water away uh, first of all it's going to have an inside dimension of about an inch and you can see about an inch and 332nd okay it's going to have an overall height of the face of aluminum of about an inch then down to the bottom of the seal material it's going to be about an inch and five sixteenths it's hard showing that on the camera because of my disposition forgive me I've completely said that wrong they don't give us a great direct dimension on that they give us one and five sixteenths from the top of the channel to the bottom of where the insert is being held in right here where my finger is to the bottom of this but then they're saying they're coming down a half of an inch that's an important dimension from here to the bottom of the sill or the seal I should say half of an inch okay so that's that's obviously the most important dimension amongst other important dimension dimensions so half of an inch is where that's coming in Okay. This is a 48 inch length and uh, listed in the site in 3 foot and 4 foot and then 12 foot lengths. Something that long is going to require special consideration in terms of shipping. It'll cost more, but it can certainly be done without any trouble at all. Um, now back to that drip cap. Uh, the projection of that drip cap is about a half of an inch. In this case, it's about 7 sixteenths of an inch. And People who make a living uh, installing doors and obviously weather stripping on those doors, uh, commercial, even residential, once they use a drip cap product, it becomes standard equipment for them because they witness how effective it is. I have installed weather stripping. I've had people call me and say, water's coming in. I have no idea where it's coming from. And the first time it was made obvious to me the effectiveness in both drip caps at the bottom of the door where you have that short half inch projection and then the two and a half inch projection over the top of the uh, header at the, at the header itself is when a client called and this water was coming in completely saturating the carpeting every time there was a heavy rain which was not infrequent it would saturate for six feet to the interior of the space uh, from the doorway Roofer had come. There'd been no problem with the roof at all. Absolutely, couldn't could not figure out where it was coming from. Um, the mason was involved. The frame was found to be solid, solidly grouted and installed to the CMU wall. Uh, the door sweep at the bottom of the door and the corresponding threshold were all good. The only conclusion I came to is that, well, I'll tell you, 
it's one of those strip malls that have maybe a 20 foot tall masonry wall and well and you've got seven foot a door you've got that huge amount of surface area above the opening that's collecting all that water which just comes down the only conclusion i could come to is that it was coming down the wall lipping back to the face of the steel frame down the face of the steel frame lipping inside underneath the header on top of the door slowly coming in to the top of the door which is a known problem it's a known issue water does get down on the inside of that door trickles all the way down pulls and collects at the bottom of the door and that's why if you've ever noticed a rusted door they're rusted at the bottom first that's for sure the bottom of a jam will be rusted that's where all of its collecting ultimately I said put a drip cap up there um, it will help drive the water away that's the only place it can probably be coming in sure enough the guy called me two months later and he says a miracle has occurred not a drop not a not a single square inch of moisture on that carpeting um, you know it's a big problem when water gets to places it, it should not be going to because you know had it continued to be a problem you've got mold you've got mildew you've got carpet being torn out you've got people inconvenienced unhealthy conditions etc witnessing it firsthand having clients say to me oh my gosh don't ever send me weather stripping without a drip cap again is what i'm told is the bottom line so this has it um this is in the mill aluminum finish and it features a tpe insert a thermal plastic elastomer it's a high-tech uh, rubberized type material i don't know the exact makeup of thermal plastic elastomer but you can look that up online for its properties okay extruded mill, mill aluminum finish there is a link below this video to a document called instructions that you'll be able to review um, just a cut sheet of the item that's really all it is the dimensions are there you can also see that it refers to the uh, D finish the DS 210 D for dark bronze anodized it will give you everything except the aluminum will be in a dark bronze anodized finish okay and then finally uh, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the draft seal products that we sell but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog if you have any questions on the draft seal ds 210 at and again, available only in 36, 48, and 144. It does include the screws that you'll need. They are a these at least are a self-drilling screw and a complementary finish. You are most certainly going to have to cut this down somehow, I would imagine. Um, and they don't uh, apparently offer. Not that they can't custom cut this material, uh, but there's always a substantial charge in that regard. So that's why they really only listed draft seal has a commercial and a residential product line and this uh, type of product is generally not customized at all if it's an in-swinging door you'll have to notch that drip cap to accommodate the stop so expect to do a little bit of nipping and tucking with your brand new fresh hacksaw blade things of that nature any questions on the ds 210 at l-shaped door bottom with a drip cap or any other draft seal product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you